Okay, Andrew. That's it. Make a guess. Okay. Okay. Guessing uh, time. Got my guessing hat on. Key issue for legislative council today. Okay. Look there's, at me. Look there's at a me. lot. There's a lot. Sumo wrestlers? No, sumo wrestlers is like this. Ah, oh, yeah, of course, of uh, course. So what is what is this? Uh, only be, there can only be two issues. Okay. Um, middle age obesity. Okay. Or 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 pregnant women. Oh, pregnant women, of course. Yes. Okay, now Vincent, I, I can tell you don't have kids. Okay. Because you know, if you've had kids, you become very familiar with the pregnant. Female anatomy, which is not like this. That's male obesity. Devil. You know, kind of. It's ever. It's 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 kind of contained in a neat little package right down here. You know, it's like farther down. Oh really? Yeah, not so much up here. Well, that, sometimes they can get like a bigger and then uh, you know a lower. Okay. Right, that too. But um, you know, in this part of the world, it's not then quite so pronounced. But, but yeah, the, the, the baby is thing. like yeah. The kicking thing is fantastic. Really? I highly recommend it. Yeah, you can see the fist. Uh, ask permission. Ask permission. Don't go around randomly like checking for the kick thing on any pregnant woman you see. They tend nope. not to appreciate that. No. Uh, okay. Um, key issue for Let's Go. Key issue for Let's Go. Paternity. Paternity. They've been talking. Keyword for today. Yeah. Paternity. Paternity. It's a great right. word. Uh, and here's the interesting thing about this. Uh, Let's Go is going to be discussing this uh, today. It's the the bills are going to multiple readings about paternity. But it probably doesn't go far enough. And here's a new idea that is starting to make the rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and the chorus comes out of Scandinavia where they think about this stuff all the time. That men and women will not have true equality in the workplace until men and women have equality in maternity and paternity leave. And the thinking goes like this. Now, in Hong Kong, Hong Kong is actually pretty balanced in that, you know, maternity leave is 10 weeks. Okay? Uh... Which only women can have it. Only women get it. Men, I think the new bill, men are going to get like three days. <laughs> right. Now, in other countries, women get like a year off. Oh, yes. Canada. But you talk about tour, but you know, and I've known people who did this. They take their two or three, they take their year off, and then they have the job guaranteed at the same salary. They go back for a couple of months, right, and get pregnant again. Because if it's a year, that's plenty of time to recover. And then, you know be ready for the next child. And I had a friend of mine, her plan was basically have two kids and take four years off, you know, at 80% of pay. And the argument now has come back that says that if women take multiple maternity leaves, it sets them back on their careers and they never really catch up. So the new argument making the round is that men and women should have equal levels of maternity and paternity leave. So whatever men, whatever women get, men should get the same. Mm. Now, there's a question of whether or not they would take it. Right, because that's another thing. Because you know, you feel pressure to go back to work, even if you don't have to. I know uh, uh, for Mrs. Work in our family, ten weeks. By five weeks, she was back full time. I mean, she's she she enjoys working. I mean, genuinely. But so this argument now. But you know, some people wouldn't <laughs> take their full why, maternity you know paternity. <laughs> you know, I know it's a bad joke. What's that? She married. A man named his last name is Work. work. Yeah, maybe there's some inherent attraction <laughs> there. You know, Mrs. Work is a hardworking woman. She married a guy named Work. Maybe that was, you know, maybe that just appealed to her. Um, so not everybody takes she her. She loves fault. work. Yeah, she, lo she does love work. She does love work. I hope so. Still, still, you know, after 16 years, I hope so. But uh, whether or not everybody would take it is another matter. But this idea that men and women should. So if Hong Kong women are getting 10 weeks, men should get 10 weeks. It becomes less about the physical recovery because a year. I mean, really, it's about that's that you, you know that things. yeah. It's about this whole idea of like the role parents play with their children in the early years. Well, and, yeah. So this is this is the keyword today is paternity. Yep. I want to just extend a little bit when yep. you use the word maternity. Yep. I think about the word maternal. Of course. Normally, we hear that word in maternal instinct. Yes. Which yeah. means the um, the natural instinct to protect right your offspring. Yes. Okay. Uh, that would normally see in Nat Geo or Discovery channels. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you say paternal, you don't say paternal instinct. We normally say this legislation or yeah. this policy right. is quite paternal. Yeah, and it's a negative word. Yeah, and. Explain a little bit more to our All students. Right, it's going to be a long show today because we're you're getting deep into it. So paternal, yeah. when people talk about paternal policy, paternal ideas, paternal behavior, uh, yeah, being paternal. In, in particular, what, what yeah. you would call an American style that. left wing, they use that word in a very uh, negative tone to mean like male dominated society. Uh, Texas. 
Uh, well, just any, anywhere where you know men are seem to have priority over women, or, or you generate policies to kind of put Texas. themselves in a spirit. But not position. only Texas. Oh no, 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 lots of the world. Lots lots of, a lot of places where it's the Texas. Bible Belt and, and all that. Yeah, yeah, or anywhere else in the world, really. I mean, where they have these kind of these kind of policies. But there's a, there are, but you know, just to take another twist, there's this idea of a paternal instinct. So if the maternal instinct is protective, there is. A small body of thought that the paternal instinct, the way that mothers and fathers differ, is that whereas mothers want to protect their children, men want to push them out in front. They want them to have adventures. They want them to become competent and experience the world so the mothers will you protect. Mean, you mean the movie 300, right? Uh, yeah, that, definitely like that. But there's something to it. So okay. maybe, maybe there's a new terminology for paternal instinct. Uh, the instinct to promote your children, to push them into adventure and new experiences. Uh, okay, so paternal policy, paternal instinct. Yeah. Maternal instinct, yeah. maternity leave, paternity leave. We covered a lot of ground today. Okay. Uh, a Good lot, of new, a lot today. of new ideas. So uh, It's the middle of the week. Not strictly po- political, some sociological, but uh, what the heck. It's the middle of the week. Christmas is coming. We can, we can take a little more time. Thank you, Andrew. All right, Vincent. Cheers.